There are a few things that are pretty simple to do and can actually make a really important difference in our long-term health and well-being. Uh, probably first is to make sure that we're not consuming calories uh, in the form of sugary beverages. That's uh, pretty clearly one of the worst possible things we can do. Soda, uh, things like uh, sports drinks as well, are very problematic. They uh, increase our risk of overweight and obesity, diabetes, heart disease, gout, and, uh, and, and dental caries. Uh, the amounts we consume on average are really uh, pretty amazing. And uh, don't forget that uh, fruit juices actually have about the same amount of sugar as does a straight Coke. So it's fine to have a small glass once a day, but to consume more than that amount of sugary, uh, that amount of fruit juice is not a good idea. Beyond uh, keeping sugary beverages out of our diet, one of the most important changes we can make is to replace refined grains like white flour, uh, white pasta, white rice with the whole grain, high fiber versions of those foods. Uh, that makes a big importance in our health and well-being because it cuts down on the surges of blood sugar that we get after refined starches. And also we get a lot more of the minerals and vitamins that are removed from those foods when we process them, when we uh, take out the fiber and turn them into refined grains. And don't forget, uh, potatoes really function metabolically like uh, refined starch, uh, or say a white, white bread or white, other white flour products. It's also good to think about our protein sources. It's pretty clear now that high consumption of red meat uh, is related to higher risk of heart disease, diabetes, and other long-term adverse health consequences. So replacing a good bit of the red meat, not, not necessarily all of it, with uh, chicken, poultry, nuts, legumes, will make an important difference in our long-term health and well-being. And by the way, it usually helps cut down on the food budget as well.